are in Seoul right now. We're at the Seoul Tower. Just took the cable car right now. So we're gonna do a travel vlog uh, this time. A little, a little different from the car stuff, but. We're here at the Seoul Tower, about to go up. Not sure exactly what's up there. I'm sure there's some restaurants and stuff. So let's go check it out. All right, so when you're at the Seoul Tower, you know, if you got some lovebirds, <laughs> You want to get yourself a lock. Uh, it's kind of like they do in Paris, uh, the little love lock stuff. So. All right, so we made it to the top of the observation deck. We got a bunch of candies that you can buy. The views are absolutely insane. Green is full coverage of Seoul. Awesome. But I was hoping there were some restaurants that we could eat because we're pretty hungry. But we're gonna go ahead and put our lock on now. All right, so we found our location right here by the bench. All right, locked in. Win it. $100. <laughs> it's an inside joke of ours. But, uh... <laughs> All right, so we're walking down from the Seoul Tower. Uh, definitely recommend going at night. There is one restaurant up there, but it was uh, reservation only, so make sure you re make a reservation if you're trying to go. All right, so we just stopped at this place called Tutu Chicken. It actually looks extremely good. Everything closes at 11, so we're kind of in a rush to grab some food. Definitely cast beer is uh, the way to go out here in Korea, so cheers. So when I said Korea knows how to do fried chicken, they this is definitely what they're known for, their fried chicken. Absolutely amazing. So if you guys are coming down uh, from the tower there, it's just down the street. Highly recommend. All right, so this place is right next to our hotel, Butterfinger Pancakes. Let's go inside. All right, so we got the food in. Looks absolutely amazing. All right, we just arrived at the temple. We are here to rent some of these. Yeah. So you rent one of these and then you get into the temple for basically free because you have this on. So we figured might as well. So I'm gonna butcher the name, but it's like Youngbok Palace, something like that. Oh. All right, so this palace is really big. There's tons and tons of walking to do. A lot of good picture opportunities as well. So definitely recommend it. Definitely a tourist attraction, but it's, it's uh, very nice. Uh, pub. Very interesting. Looks awesome. It's called the Chimney Pub right outside the, the palace there. So if you guys want to come get a drink, get some dessert. So we got our little snack here. Got the, cin got the cinnamon bread, some Jameson, ginger ale. The decor here is just awesome. It's just a really cool vibe here. So definitely suggest it if you guys just want a quick uh, bite to eat, some drinks, it's a cool place. So right across the street, there's this market. Tons of stores. Whoa. You guys need some pipes. We got some pipes here, all sizes. Whatever. So I have no idea what this is, but there's a line here. So of course, you know, we got to stop. All right, so we're just waiting in line. And uh, we grabbed this beer from this lady across the way. Shout out to her. And she hooked us up with like some carrots and some spicy sauce and the beer while we just wait in line. So <laughs> make sure you go uh, say what's up to the old lady over there. So I think I found the address. That looks like it's it right there. I don't know. I can't read anything. Down. The menu was all in Korean, couldn't speak to the waitress, 
but this place is super crazy. Uh, they specialize in like seafood and stuff, but um, yeah, I don't know. We kind of just pointed out a few things and, and got some stuff ordered. So we'll see what we get. We ordered this seafood thing. I'm not sure exactly what it is. And then the soup. The soup looks really, really good. And obviously some kimchi on the side. Let's dig in. All right, so we just left the seafood place. I didn't want to tell Brittany while we were there, but I'm pretty sure that was a sea slug. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Hey, I wouldn't order it again, but that soup, though, yeah, that soup was the good. soup was absolutely amazing. So uh, if you're there, get, get the soup. All right, we're at the Nandem Market. So there's tons of shopping, uh, street food, just a bunch of stuff. So we're going to walk around, see what we can get into. Uh, all right so we got some shopping done unfortunately things are kind of closing up right now it is sunday sometimes you can spend hours here shopping so uh, we're gonna grab some food and probably head out we get some drinks head back um, so taxis are definitely the way to go. They're super cheap, as you saw. It was only like five dollars to get back. Um, so conversion is you take three zeros off the price, and that's basically the U.S. price. So, all right, we'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, so this is our breakfast for today. It's right across from our hotel, and every time we walk out, the line is just completely out the door. So we had to come try it as soon as they opened up today. All right, so the soup is super delicious. Added a little bit of chili powder to it. It's got some onions, some like caramelized onions, the rice wrapped meat. Extremely good, delicious, definitely recommend for sure. So one more thing about Korea, the portions are actually really big. So if you guys plan on like just eating at a few places, definitely just share a meal. Uh, so that way you don't get super full, but yeah, it's a lot of food. All right, so this is the restaurant here. It's right across from our hotel. Uh, this hotel is super nice. It's uh, kind of centrally located to everything that we're trying to see. So uh, the hotel's good, it's a good price. So recommend that as well. Let's continue on today. All right, we are at the War Memorial of Korea. Yeah, they have some good comparisons when it comes to the sizes of the aircraft and the tanks and stuff like that. It's definitely pretty cool to see ships as well. Pretty crazy tree they made into like a natural shade. That's pretty cool. old planes and how they were used during the war definitely cool cool. boats a little stealth boat over there like this is what the cartel uses nowadays transport their stuff i think this is all the names that gave their life during the war it's a lot Alright, so we are out in the city of Gangnam. I'm sure you guys remember the uh, infamous song from back in the day. Uh, so we're going to see what this city has to offer. There's a few things planned, so follow along. So right next to the statue, there's a huge mall in the Seoul World Trade Centers. Pretty cool. One thing that's so cool about Korea is like they have all these screens on buildings and stuff. Just looks super futuristic. Really cool. This screen is absolutely mad. The biggest screen I've ever seen in my right, life. So we're at the Latte World Aquarium and this gigantic mall. 
absolutely one of the biggest buildings I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, let's go check it out. Here on the perfect day, there is a teddy bear <laughs> event. And I've seen the largest teddy bear I've ever seen in my life. It's just uh, a lot of firsts here in Korea. All right, so we got some ice cream. Unfortunately, they didn't have any cones. Uh, they got tons of food places. And they have the aquarium inside the mall. So tons of stuff to do in here. Uh, if you guys want to come shop or eat. Looks like a log. Wow. Got the electric eel. Thing's really long, actually. I don't think I've ever seen a piranha in real life. It's a pig nosed turtle. That is super weird. Sleeping on the job over here. Super venomous stonefish. You step on that thing, you're done. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Bottle feed the fish. So this is actually real live coral. Yeah, and however you say it. <laughs> Super colorful. That is crazy. Yeah. Wow. This is probably the best aquarium I've ever been to. some really big fish so the fish is cleaning the big fish's mouth out this thing is gigantic i've seen a giant clam as, as as big as this in okinawa japan it was obviously outside of the water but they had the shell of it it was this big so if this one's like actually real man that'd be insane Sky Tower. So we're at the observation deck. <laughs> the world's tallest glass observation. So we're out on the observation deck right now. Alright, so we're up here at the lounge, just grabbing a few drinks, checking out the amazing view. So that's where we were, headed to another part of the city. That's where we were last night, that's where our hotel's at. We're headed back in that direction. So this is the last stop of the night. Jogiessa Temple, definitely butchering the name, but it's all good. This is something you want to come to at night for sure. Uh, yeah, this is the, the thing. All right, so there's the name. Again, something you want to come to at night just to see all the, the lights and everything here. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so that's gonna do it here for Seoul, a three day trip. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it within 10 minutes. And next is gonna be Busan, so stick around for that one. Okay, so we didn't 
end up going home and we went to another place and found this dessert place. Looks absolutely amazing. Let's dig in. Incredible. Cafe Langso. Alright, so we just got done eating at this place called Little India uh, down here on this market. So the market's called Insadong. It's right next to the temple there. Um, tons and tons and tons of shops. So if you guys like to do shopping, eating, uh, this whole place is for you for sure. So come on down, but definitely we're, we're ending the video here. Have a good night.